we would like to give a very special thanks to Hasbro for sending these products to us for free. What's up, doll collectors and gift givers? Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Disney Mulan. In this box, I am pretty certain we are going to find dolls based on the live action film. Originally, it was supposed to be released into theaters March 27th of 2020. Now the date has been pushed to July 24th of 2020, as of right now. But until then, why not enjoy the toys now? We haven't even gotten to the toys yet, and I am already in love with this picture. Mulan is one of my favorite Disney movies, so let's get started on this unboxing. I haven't even looked inside this box yet, so we're doing this together. We can just get the cover off without destroying it. Okay, I need to lay this on its side and now we can open it up. I'm so nervous. Are you ready? Here we go. And there are lots of goodies inside of the box. Like the Mulan fashion doll, priced at $14.99, Disney's Mulan two reflection set, priced at $29.99, and the Disney's Mulan and Shein fashion dolls two pack. I do apologize if I am not saying her name correctly, but just know that I am trying. This set is priced at $49.99. Available spring of 2020. Just looking at the dolls in the boxes, I can see some articulation on the two reflection set and the fashion doll two pack. With the single fashion doll, I believe we're going to get the basic five points of articulation. On the front of the box, it says Disney Mulan. On the back of the box, it says the fearless and spirited eldest daughter of an honored warrior, Hua Mulan masquerades as a man and sets out on an adventure that will transform her into a legendary warrior. In the animated film, I remember her name was pronounced Fa Mulan, but on Google Translate it was a little different, so if I'm getting this wrong, please forgive me. Wow, I am apologizing a lot in this video. Let's get this doll out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, she has a very natural face, which we love. Straight black hair, brown eyes, and a very delicate hand. I like the hand position. Her arms are straight. She has removable fashion, a silver and brown armored skirt. It fastens in the back. Her top is red with printed details. It has wide sleeves, details around the neck, and it velcros in the back. She wears khaki pants with an elastic waistband, brown shoes that allow her to stand on her own. However, her foot is on an incline. She stands a little under 11 inches tall, making her about the same height as Princess Jasmine from the live-action film Aladdin. However, the proportions seem a little different. Mulan definitely has a more realistic look, in my opinion. Since I'm giving my opinion here, I would love to see more accurate proportions for the whole body. But that's just me. This doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. If you're looking for a little more articulation, then let's take a look at the two reflection set. On the back of the box, you can see a picture of the actress from the movie, and the text on the side is the same as the other fashion doll. Out of the box, you do get a few extras at double the price. Her armored skirt has a gold detail at the bottom. She has articulation at the head, shoulder, elbow, Wrist, one hand is designed to hold a sword, movement at the hip, and the knee. She has a helmet that fits easily onto the head. It is silver and red, and the pattern goes all the way around. She has additional armor that fastens in the back. 
and a sword that attaches to her hip, completing her warrior look. She has the same shoes, so it is possible to balance her to stand. She comes with a second outfit, a blue dress with pink details going across the front. It is solid in the back, but the pattern is on the sleeves and there it goes all the way around. She wears a belt around the waist that velcros in the back. There's a sheer pleated detail at the bottom, a high pink collar with a thin top sewn in underneath. She has cream colored shoes with purple details. I do prefer the added articulation and having the full armor is definitely a plus. If you add $20 onto that, you get the Fashion Dolls 2-pack. Two, two dolls and two complete outfits for $49.99. On the back of the box, we get a different picture of the actress and it says, Hua Mulan sets out on an adventure that will transform her into a legendary warrior. Along the way, she meets Xian Neong, an ally of Bori Khan, and the Ruan forces. Xian possesses special powers and has more in common with her adversary, Mulan, than she realizes. Out of the box, when we saw this set at Toy Fair, I couldn't wait to get a closer look. This Mulan is different. Her eyes are looking to the side. She comes dressed in full removable armor with the gold details at the bottom. However, her red top has more detail. Instead of a printed on design, you can see that this is actually sewn and it's kind of embossed. You can see under the collar, there is an undershirt that is attached to the top. It's made out of a cotton material with hemmed edges and it opens in the front. It still velcros in the back and she has the same pants and shoes. She has the same sword, but this one doesn't come with a sheath. Xian, also known as the witch, looks to the side as well. The top of her face is painted white. She wears a crown. The painting allows you to see all the details. Black hair with two little twists on the sides. She wears a brown collar piece a molded corset that is removable. It hangs down in the front. Her dress is kind of like an olive drab color. It's darker at the top, then fades to a lighter color at the bottom. The sleeves are huge. They are gathered on the sides, have glitter details. It's all one piece. The top is attached to the bottom, which looks kind of like a skirt with an armor print like dragon scales. Her legs are green. It's an olive drab, like a dark color. So it looks like she's wearing tights. She does have a knee joint, so that's fun, but she's forever wearing that color. She wears high boots in a bronzy kind of color. One hand is open, the other is curled, so she can hold a dagger accessory. The outfits are completely original and I like that. I don't think I have anything in my collection that looks like this. However, the collar does force her hair to be divided and lay in the front. And personally, I would have loved to have seen green tights instead of green legs. So out of these three doll sets, which one is right for you? The fashion doll at $14.99 with the basic five points of articulation. At $29.99, the two reflection set with two outfits and 11 points of articulation. Or the two doll pack where both dolls have 11 points of articulation at $49.99. Let us know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Hasbro's Disney Mulan dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. Bye!